So how many people can play this game at the same time, and does it scale up in difficulty? Uh, the answer is 30, I think. I think you can straight up have 30 people playing. Well, no, I have 30 right now. The answer is hundreds. But, uh, I think you can have just like a bazillion people. Also, thank you, Magnum, for gifting five more subs, I think. I think that's five more. No, six. Uh, to Tech Reaper, Myrek, Madman, Epic Iger. Probably Epic Iger? No, I don't know. Uh, and Nick Tesla. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Bats. Where are the bats from? I have no idea. Why are there so many bats here? Oh, great threat. Okay. You don't really need to protect me too much. I've got some hella potions. And thank you, Faroth, for the sub as well. Wow. Uh, ugh. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. This is handy. Oh, hey! Phoenix Feather. That's convenient. Anyway, so, I think you can have an unlimited number of people joining the game. Um, let's see. Everyone weep for Brian. Brian, you are a good man. And now you're alive again. So you can continue to be a good man. Uh, let's see. Uh, bah, 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 bah. More items that I've missed. I am... Snack time is great, but snack time is also distracting. Uh, let's see. So what was I saying? Uh, yeah, people. People that can join. You can have a lot of folks join up. The thing is, the game doesn't officially support more than four. Uh, so you're gonna run into bugs. And it's not gonna run well past a certain point. But, like, for me, this is way more worth it. Oh, God. Oh, going for it. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Those traps with reduced damage is hilarious. Protective powers. Oh, well, that would have been helpful earlier. Okay. Let me just shift and move. And okay, way more comfortable. Ah. Oh. But no, the difficulty does not scale up at all. So if you're looking for... Uh, if you're looking for an actual mass challenge, this is not it. It's fun, but it absolutely does mahogany. Uh, it absolutely does not scale properly. And that's fine, I guess. I don't know. I have so much gold ore. I'm going to be able to really... Uh, fill up my town like this as going to be a good feeling. So you, is it me or is the image a bit blurry? Uh, could be. This game kind of has fuzzy pixels to begin with, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, let's see, I should probably grab the cash from the sides. I will be thorough if no one else is. I should really play a Crusader. Hot damn, you can clear some distance fast. Oh, sweet Bessie, that's a lot of dudes. And they are dying in a hurry. This is amusing. I... I like this. I, I realize, and for everybody watching this that, like you know, was watching me for my original solo run of this. I'm so sorry. At the same time, this is just... I don't know. This is just really amusing, and I really like it. Even if it's easier than it should be, and so on and so forth. What other games have good mass gameplay like this? Earth Splitter seems good. Well, I was saving this money. 
Let's get the Cloak of Many Pockets. That'll offset the damage. What other games are like this? Because I should pay more attention uh, to other viable mass games. Uh, oh god, we should do Mass Left 4 Dead someday. I heard that was a... I heard that was viable. And I think that would be really amusing. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, we'd all have to use pistols. Maybe... Maybe there's a mod for unlimited ammo. Oh, hey, secret. I'm just gonna sit in a secret. Uh, until you guys come grab it. Yeah, Mass Left 4 Dead on Helm's Deep. Is that a thing you can do? I... Oh, man. That feels like a thing I should do. Because that sounds like a lot of fun. A lot of dumb fun, but... Okay. We can look into some of these things soon. And yeah, uh, Master Chief Collection is going to have some multiplayer mass matches. Uh, actually, kind of in the same vein, uh, when Warcraft 3 Remastered comes out, we'll be able to do uh, Warcraft 3 custom maps. Most of them probably aren't going to be too viable. Uh, but I know we could easily do uh, some of the more like kind of reasonable tower defense-y things or whatever. I... I'm a huge fan of island defense, but I realize that island defense would be utter garbage with me as a streamer. Because I'd pretty much just be an immediate, uh, spy. And yeah, we could look into Mass Satisfactory. Uh, I was kind of trying to say this earlier, but the order of operations for Satisfactory are going to be, uh, multiplayer, solo, and then Mass. I'd like to do Mass Satisfactory, but I, I have to make sure that I have enough content uh oh did we lose brian we lost brian brian no did you lose internet or the game crashed probably i could see honestly either of those yeah drop connection yeah at least i think you get to keep your stuff i could be wrong Let's see. Skyrim together. I don't know if you'd be able to do mass Skyrim together. You're level 14 now, so, yep. All right, that's a good sign. Uh, and honestly, I think we only have one region after this one. It goes chambers and then the top, and the top's pretty quick. So if you want to just do, like, a quick run, or actually, if you've got the DLC, the arena uh, would probably be a decent time killer for a little while. Hey, I got gold fever. You do have the DLC. Yeah, I like the arena. I think the arena is pretty sweet. Okay. Oh, imp. Imp to... Jerthanet, probably. I think that's the color that matches up. Yeah. Imp gave me some EXP. Let's see. Unfortunately, I've got a buttload of things to go turn in. A lot of ore. I'm going to be able to upgrade a lot of my equipment, which is nice. Weird listening to you on Discord and this at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Oh, good. Okay. Primary attack applies debuff. Jumps to new enemy. Uh, afflicted enemies take more damage. Wow, that's nice. Let's see. I did visit the shop already. You went into your solo game, and it dropped you back in the dungeon uh, where you lost connection. Oof. Well, take this opportunity to spend those resources, buff yourself up, so you're durable. Not necessarily sure if this is worth it. Eh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for a sphere like that, meh. 
I'm super glad I didn't, uh, don't take a boatload of damage from it, but, uh, oh well. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Well, this just looks like ass. Is that worth it? I don't think so. How much damage do you take stepping on one of the Bernie tiles? Yeah, no, you can do it if you've got enough armor and or health. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna head over here, grab another, uh, the item. I don't even know if there's much left. Ah, bats! Okay, what do we grab? It's more combo stuff. Combo, health regen, mana regen. It's nice, I just don't know if I'm gonna be comboing, like, much at all. Which is unfortunate. Let's see. Well, I think we're good. And if, even if I've missed stuff, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, we still have to fight, uh, Dracula. Dracula. Blah, 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 blah. 84 ore. Oh, I know why I'm getting so much ore. Oh, good God, that's a lot of items. Didn't I get a thing that makes it so I get more ore based on how many things are in my inventory? Yeah, 2% ore gain per item in your inventory. How many items do I even have? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 times 4, so... 16? It's like 16 times 4, give or take. Now, the Markham set is pretty good. Oh, is there... Are there multiples of it? Oh, and I've got, I've got, uh, yeah, two of them, actually. Where's the other one? It'd be nice if you could click on it and, uh, <laughs> and see. Oh, well, yeah, 63 items. Oh, I had one row of three. I was just kind of ballparking it. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay, where is he? Wow. He, uh, he melted in a hurry. So what did I get? I got Blood Dagger. Oh, chance to gain health back, but still, that's fine. Yeah, 126 ore gain. Technically 226. That's a lot of ore, though. Let's see, can you sell items? I don't think so, unfortunately. I wonder if we're gonna move fast enough that it doesn't wreck bridges. It'd certainly be nice. I don't feel like I'm moving fast enough for it, but eh. And to think this is only double, uh, max capacity. I can imagine having 40 people in this would be nuts. Oh! Man, uh, it reminds me of Remel of the Mad God. Is that game still going on? Or is that kind of petered off at this point? My problem with Remel of the Mad God is I just, I really didn't like the idea of, uh... I, I really didn't like the idea of it being a roguelike. Because... The idea of, a, like, a roguelike MMO would be awkward. There's an... Is there an inventory size limitation? Nope. It is just... It is just do what you... Do what you can. Uh, get as much as you can. And the answer is you can get a lot. Let's see. Still kicking. Huh. 
Maybe I'll give it a go someday. I played it uh I played it a while back, back when I was just first starting my channel. Um but the people I play I was playing it with were not super interested. Which is unfortunate, because it seemed kinda neat. I just yeah, permadeath is kind of rough. But yeah, there's no no inventory management issues at all. Uh, there's only a couple of items with downsides, so you can pretty much mindlessly pick all of them up. And not have to worry about it in the slightest. It's actually quite nice. Uh, really the only problems with this game just have to do with the grinding. And if you join us, it doesn't matter! As evidenced by Brian, who joined us for part of a round uh, before getting the boot and then proceeded to have more levels than I did over the course of a 16-episode series, or mostly focused on one class. It really does seem like just playing with large groups of people and just demolishing is incredibly effective. And I actually feel like I'm helping now, which is a nice feeling. Loot is sort of not instance. Oh, that'd be rough. See, I liked, uh, I liked Mass Guild Wars back when we played that. That was fun. How close is this run to being completed? This is the last zone. Uh, admittedly floor one. I think there's only three, uh, floors. Any gold keys? I've got a gold key if, uh, somebody has one. Or, if no one else does. Oh, no, Axe does. Perfect. Aha! I think next time I'll bring even more keys, just in case. The irony is not lost upon me that I am fighting ice with ice, quite literally. I'm not a fan when inv in inventory management is a major portion of the gameplay in a game. I think there's only a couple of games where I'm fine with it. Uh, I can kind of deal with it in Diablo likes. But, most games, I mean, even with Diablo likes, I remember playing Diablo 3 on the Switch, and it was so nice that I could just, uh... Oh, are there a bunch of items over there? I guess I'll go back. Let's see, isn't Dimler, uh, Diablo similar to a roguelike? Uh, yeah, kinda? They, they branch hard. I think the original Diablo shared some major similarities that, you know, I could see. But, unless you play specifically on hardcore mode. Unless you specifically, oh well, yeah, this is worth it. Stormcaller! Uh, I don't know if I left any of those items behind on that lower section. Um. Well, I guess we can take that rightmost section. I'm probably just going to head for the exit. The extra loot would be nice, but honestly, I only care about ore and money right now. So. Oh. Uh, they're waiting for us over on the left. Maybe. Ow. Ow. Let's see, shouldn't you refill with the fountain? Uh, I'm down one. I guess it's close. I should, I should go refill. Let's see, wonder if you heard about the controversy over the XCOM successor, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Point. Yes, I have. And I'm disappointed, but like, I don't know how to feel. It sounds like, uh, the developers of Phoenix Point, the guy at their head is a soulless businessman and doesn't really care so much about making a good game as he does making a profit, which is, like, real terrifying when I hear developers talk about that. Like, at least with the satisfactory people, they wanted to make a good game and did make a good game, but they also went with, uh, went with the Epic Games launcher because reasons. Uh, whereas the Phoenix Point people actively were like, oh shit, they give extra money out. Uh, we're going with this direction, which is kind of rough. 
I don't know how to feel about it, because, like, on one hand, I, I do believe that developers should be free to choose. On the other hand, whenever a developer straight up says, like, yeah, I don't really care about making a good game, I'm just here to make money. Like, that's how we got DMC Devil May Cry to some degree. Um, and I actually liked it, DMC Devil May Cry, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, blah, 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 whenever, I, whenever I talk about that. But, like, I legitimately thought it was an acceptable game. It wasn't, like, amazing by any standard, but it was, like, it was fun. And it was, like, it was an alright introduction to Devil May Cry. Uh, you know, and more or less vaguely kind of explain who the characters are uh, without having to play Devil May Cry 1 through 3. Admittedly, now that I'm playing DMC 5, I do wish I had played DMC 4 beforehand because there's enough going on in that that, like... You know, it's super obvious that I should have played, uh, it's super obvious I should have played DMC4 first-ish. That's how we get freemium games and app game markets and stuff. Yeah. That's why I always like the indie game market a little bit more. Because the, the indie game market, like, okay, there are some shitty, there are many shitty indie games out there. But there's so many more, like, genuine, earnest indie games that wanted to make a legitimately good game. I mean, this game, I, they more or less, like, sold it at a relatively inexpensive price, and then just released a DLC that adds about 50% extra to this game, maybe more if you count the arena, uh, just because. And, like, personally, I don't know. I I prefer most indie games. I mean, I was playing Anthem earlier today, and I was like, this is all right. It was fun, but it had, like, I am playing this game with twice the amount of people that you should be able to play. Um, and it's running like a dream. I was playing Anthem alone, and it was jittery and slow and all sorts of problems and it's just like I realize that one scope is like considerably more than others but it generally just reaffirms that like yeah indie games are just my thing and generally better not always but still let's see if you're looking on playing realm of the bad god you want to look into survived by it's made by d and based on realm of the bad god interesting I will check that out, actually. Oh, shoot. Uh, do we have an ore elevator? Probably not. Oh, well. I'll probably be fine. I can't imagine we're going to lose like this. Let's see. Since you play roguelike so much, have you ever tried uh, the original rogue? I actually haven't. Uh, I've never played the original rogue. Uh, I played a lot of NetHack, which honestly kind of uh, gave me my fill of, of like true blue original roguelikes. And so like OG Rogue, I actually don't like that much. I, to be totally frank, I actually prefer roguelites to roguelikes almost any day. There's a couple of roguelikes that I really like, but most of them I really like... Uh, most of the most of the time, I prefer roguelikes. I mean, or roguelites. The first two roguelites I ever played were Binding of Isaac and Tower of Guns, and uh... yeah, that was quick. Well, I mean, we did have a bunch of extra people. All right, lobby's open if people want to join up. I'm gonna grab or Orb of Winter. It's probably worth it. Not Comet. I don't think I care much for Comet. Uh, let's see. What can I- Oh god, I've got- <laughs> I've got a lot of money in other things. 212 ore. Gonna spend some of that. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna start with a shop? Probably for you suckers. Let's get the town hall up. Let's see, what's the lobby name? I think you have to friend me on Steam to join me. So friend me on Steam, I'm Wanderbot. Let's see, if I talk to the guy next to the guildhouse. 
You know I haven't yet. Uh, I thought that was actually the mage and that was how you unlocked him, but then we just randomly unlocked him, so I don't even know. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's get the shop and... Never mind, I don't have enough money to... Up Jesus Christ, this gets expensive. I guess I'll go... T treasury? Nah. Let's level up the... I don't know. Blacksmith? I'll level up the blacksmith. It was tempting to make it just fully public, but I didn't I didn't know quite how many people I'd end up with that with with that, and so eh. Okay, do we get the ore trader? I honestly don't think I need the ore trader at this point. I'm gonna just save the remaining ore. Okay, so what level did my wizard get up to? 16. Pretty good. Yeah, the guy outside the uh, guild hall is actually just poof. So, I guess I have. Uh, let's see, do we get the next level of Cross Nova? Yeah, we might as well gr grab those. They're pretty good. So, Wander, talk to this dude. Uh, which guy? Oh, this guy back here. Oh, hello. So I can attune. Okay, not worth it until you have all your skills maxed. I see. Let's see, how long am I going to keep up the server? I may join later on. Honestly, I'm probably going to do at least a couple more runs. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I will admit, I think I'm going to have to uh, nuke the server uh, for a smidge. Because I need, I need to switch characters. A lot of you guys can switch freely. But unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, so I should probably go do that now, as opposed to later. So, I apologize to everyone. Server's going down, and then it'll be right back up. Uh, which character should I play? What do you guys think? Should I go Crusader? Or not Crusader, Paladin? And just go nuts. Yeah, I'm gonna try Paladin. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Because I've done Priest. I don't want to do Wizard. I could do Thief, but that's probably less survivable. Let's, let's do Paladin. And everything is good. No downscaling. Life is good. I've already done Gladiator for the night, so let's, let's do Paladin for now. See, why not Wizard? Uh, shorter range, mainly. Okay. Blocks most things in a 180 degree arc. We are going to be kind of generic here. Let's see, you forgot private. Oh, shit, did I? Uh, eh, it'll be fine. I don't know how many people are on right now, but if we end up with some extra people, well, they're in for a surprise. Let's see, don't forget Fountain. Yeah. Uh, I'm just very quickly upgrading a couple of things on this guy. Wonder why don't we all go Paladin one day? Uh, because it would be stupid. But really funny. Yeah, all Priest. There's some options. I'm not going to do challenge runs. I would say what we could do is do an all... Uh, we could do an all... Uh, paladin run of of the arena 